Wesoth Yehola Ekata Rafnar, with you all health, I am Rafnar, or Raven, whichever you prefer. <clears throat> um, since my camera decided to cut me off at the end of recording the first part of this video about how I cleanse the insides of my horns, I have to do it in two parts. Fucking cameras, man. And I don't remember exactly where I left off. Um, I was about to say something about this raw horn, and I don't remember what. So I do apologize for that. But the main point was that I was going over, um, you know, boiling the inside of a horn. So, I guess I'll just recap um, part one. If a horn has a beeswax seal, then um, you don't have to worry about cleaning it as often. Just keep in mind that when you boil the inside of a horn to sterilize it and it has a beeswax seal, that uh, you, you know it will melt the beeswax seal. And, um, you know, that the overall suggestion with horns that are sealed on side with beeswax is that every so often you should just go ahead and melt out the seal, um, give the horn a good sterilizing, you know, then rinse it with cold water, dry it thoroughly, and then put a new seal in it, and then you're good until next time you, you do it. Um, then, of course, with uh, an un- an unsealed horn like this one, you know, um, just every so often, uh, I would say maybe two or three times a week, boil the inside of that raw horn and, you know, with hot water, just let the hot water sit in it for 10 minutes, pour it out, rinse it out with cold water to cool it off, then give it a nice thorough drying inside and out. Well, okay, you don't need to worry about the outside if the horn is actually finished, because if it's actually finished, then it'll have a protective coating. But, you know, make sure that you dry the inside of an unsealed horn thoroughly. Obviously, um, I, sh I should actually specify this. If you have the inside of a horn sealed with beeswax, you can't exactly dry it with a towel, right? But uh, make sure that you, you know, you air it out. You know, um, yeah, do your best to dry it. But, uh, yeah, so that's actually pretty simple, you know. Um, as for scrubbing the inside of a horn, well, if it's sealed on the inside with beeswax, you can't really scrub it. But if you have an unsealed horn, um, you know, a horn that is just cured, um, you can scrub the inside of a cured horn. I'm not going to do that this time, um, because my living circumstances have kind of made it so that I don't have access to all of the usual tools. Um, but there's a type of scrub brush that you can use that's usually used for cleaning the insides of pipes and things. You can get big ones and you know um, you can get ones that could reach onto the the inside of a horn pretty well and you just stick them in there and you know clean them out you know and um, with my unsealed horns um, that I do scrub the insides out um, I do use dish soap um, I don't suggest that you use very much because Drinking horns are absorbent, and I think that they can probably absorb the taste of dish soap. So, you know, if you use a lot of it, then it won't taste very good. It's not going to hurt you or anything, but, like, yeah, I would suggest you use a small amount if you're going to use dish soap uh, to clean the inside of it. But, really, though, you shouldn't need to. Um... I don't do that very often. What I should really say 
is I prefer my drinking horns unsealed on the inside. I prefer to have them just natural. Um, I'm going to recap the curing process that I went over in part one. Um, see, I only cure a horn if I'm not going to seal the inside of it because technically if the inside is sealed there's not really much point in curing it right because the entire inside of a horn is coated in a protective layer of beeswax right um, however like I said in part one I actually don't typically seal the inside of my drinking horns no I do that if the buyer pays an extra nine dollars but usually I just cure them. So I'll, I'll sterilize the insides with the hot boiling water, like I showed you in part one. And then, like I said in part one, I will take a high APV alcohol and I'll let it sit in there for several days. I prefer seven days because I'm picky. You can do it for two or three days. And that does a deeper cleansing on the horn. But I feel like on a spiritual level, that also kind of instills the spirit of that alcohol inside the horn. And I personally prefer to use Reka, Reka vodka, because Reka is made with um, waters that are sourced from the historic homestead of Egil Skala Grimson, who is the viking from iceland that wrote that song my mother told me and so i feel like on a spiritual level because i choose to use that vodka to cure my horns and because i do it so thoroughly it sort of instills the spirit of egil skala grimson and of that song into the drinking horns that i make and now that i think about it if it's really more for the spiritual value, maybe I should just cure every horn, even if I'm going to seal them with beeswax. So I might actually just start doing that. The curing isn't just about physical cleansing. There's a spiritual side to it as well. Um, in either case, this concludes part two of my little, you know, series, my two video series, if that makes sense on how I cleanse the insides of my horns. Again, I will make a video later when I get into a stable living situation and when I have all my tools available to me again, um, showing how I you know, will scrub the insides of a horn. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, <laughs> um, feel free to comment. Now, while I'm at it, I'm going to show off this horn that I'm working on. I'm probably going to do a separate video on this horn. I'm actually pretty excited about it. It's not done yet, but I am pretty stoked about this horn. If you would like a custom drinking horn made for you, we could really use the money right now because we are struggling. I don't actually live here. This is an Airbnb. We are actually homeless right now and we are struggling quite seriously. We really need the money. So please consider checking out my Etsy shop, which is linked in the description of this video. You can order custom drinking horns there and you can order all kinds of other things on there too. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if you liked this video, please hit the like button, like, you know, brutally smash it or like murder it or maybe even like um, torture the subscribe button. Give it a chance to enter Valhalla. Anyways, thank you very much. Wasatya Hala with your health. Grow strong and think deep.